what is going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the color picker component in swift ui so that's uh, this guy right here that just popped up basically we're going to be building this app where we can uh, you know show a color picker when i select one of these colors you know we're going to update our view because we are in swift ui and everything updates smoothly just like that uh, and in the color picker, you've got this uh, way to pick colors. You've got a spectrum, you've got RGB sliders, opacity, the whole nine yards, basically everything you would expect from a color picker. And of course, it looks nice in dark mode as well. So if I put that into dark mode, everything here is looking pretty darn nice. So that said, make sure you smash that like button as per usual, helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel for iOS and Swift videos. Get Xcode ready, get excited. Let's talk about some color pickers. All right, so we're gonna open up Xcode and create a new project here. We're gonna stick with the app template under the iOS tab. And let's go ahead and give this a name of Swift UI color picker. Of course, make sure your interface and lifecycle are both Swift UI as well as your language being Swift. Go ahead and continue. We'll toss it onto our desktop. And let me go ahead and expand my Xcode window here. Give the canvas a resume. Hopefully this uh, doesn't take too long. Sometimes the uh, preview here is a little slow. But while that's doing its thing, let's talk about color pickers. Let me also bump up the font size here and looks like this guy decided to load. So what are we gonna be building? So you saw in the beginning, we had a screen where we could go ahead and get this really nifty looking color picker. And based on whatever we selected, the background color actually changed. So the first thing you wanna do in here, in the content view, is toss in a navigation view that's gonna basically house our, uh, our actual views, our main views. And the reason we wanna do that is, so once we had a stack in here, we're gonna use a Z stack. We can give it a nice navigation title and I'm going to go ahead and call this color picker just like that. And then we get our title up here and we're in, uh, we're in business. So the next thing you want to do is basically bring in that row that you saw that said uh, select color as well as that cool component. Now, when you initially saw it, it might have looked a little daunting and like a lot of work. It's actually extremely simple since it's a built in Swift UI component. Uh, literally called color picker. So if you open up the constructor here, you'll you'll see there's a, a couple different uh, values you can bring in. The one that you want is a uh, title and selection. Uh, we don't want this thing here. So let's get rid of that. Let me line break this. The first thing in here is going to be the title that's going to show in the row. Uh, so we're going to say select color, and this needs to be a property that actually holds. Uh, the color once it's selected. And we wanna say dollar because we're gonna bind to it because it'll be a state property. And we're gonna go ahead and call this, let me call this background color, just like that. And of course we're gonna create that background color. So right up here, I'm gonna say state var background color. And uh, by default, we actually wanna go ahead and give it a default value. So we're gonna say uh, it is system background color, just like that. Everything should syntax highlight. And what we want to do, well, before we do it, let's go ahead and uh, hit try again over here because our canvas decided to be finicky. Shocker. But uh, once it uh, decides to load, let's see, let's see. Looks like we got an issue. Let's try that one more time. Sometimes you have to do it twice in my experience, but there it is. We've got our select color here. And uh, by default, we all we have this color wheel thing also, but uh, it's showing white because that's our background color here. Let me go ahead and let's go uh, give this some padding. Whoops, we want to give it some padding as a modifier so it's not flush against the edges of the screen. And essentially, every time we select a color, we want that color to be the background color of our Z stack here. So I'm literally going to take uh, that background color and drop it in just like that. And whenever we change the color, we should be able to see our live updates. So let's see if our, uh, if our preview will play nice with us. Let me go ahead and hit this run button to get our live preview. And we should be in business. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this. And there you go, there is our color picker. 
And what you'll notice is because it's a native component, uh, it already looks pretty great. You can select basically any color in here. So let me pick that and swipe it away and boom, our background color has changed. So let's do that one more time. So you select this, you get the picker. What I actually really personally like is uh, this like kind of color swatch thing here, the spectrum as they call it, where you could just kind of like tap and drag your finger. And uh, you know, in your actual production app, if you wanted to uh, offer a setting to the user to change maybe the theme color or something like that, let's say you're making a widget app and you wanna offer you know, the ability for the user to you know, really customize their widgets and go crazy. Uh, I really like this, I'm a big fan. And then you've also got sliders over here for uh, RGB values directly, uh, super easy to use. And uh, because you know this is SwiftUI and everything is reactive and you know we're using uh, bindable uh, properties, as you go ahead and uh, change these, you'll see in the background, you can even see it, the uh, actual Z stack background is in fact changing and you see your selection down here. You can even adjust the opacity. Let's go ahead and make this a little lighter. That looks kind of nice. It actually doesn't look nice at all. Let me pick a nicer color. Let's stick with this. And we can swipe it away and boom, our color has changed. Let me also put this in dark mode by selecting, let me pause this first. Let me select this right up here. We should get a bunch of options and let me go ahead and change the theme. Let's see if I can find it. We're gonna change it to be dark, just like that. And you'll also see once again that this looks really nice in dark mode. Let me go ahead and hit that live preview. We're gonna get this uh, color picker again. The one thing I noticed is that uh, the color picker component doesn't actually respect dark mode. Uh, it's kind of strange and surprised Apple uh, kind of didn't do that. I wonder if it's because of the contrast, but it would be nice if this reflected uh, you know, dark mode a little better, but unfortunately it doesn't. Um, it's not really, I think it's by design or it might be a foresight uh, or an oversight on Apple's part, but I digress. Let's pick a nice looking color in here. I'm gonna go with this nice bright red, swipe it away and we're still looking great. So there you have it, uh, fairly simple, short video. That's how you can uh, you know, play with uh, uh, the color picker component right in Swift UI, super easy. Uh, now, of course, if you're coming from the land of UI kit, there are libraries to you know, help you achieve the same component. But the fact that this is so darn easy now in Swift UI with literally uh, three lines of code where this one we can actually get rid of, two lines of code, uh, it's, it's pretty amazing. And uh, I found it pretty interesting and I hope you guys do as well. So last thing, most importantly, if you haven't smashed that like button already, make sure to do so for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment down below. What do you think of Swift UI? What do you think of the color picker? And hit subscribe to join the iOS Academy community. We do daily Swift, iOS, Swift UI, everything in between uh, uploads. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.